In factories across China, a quiet transformation is taking place. It involves rows upon rows of highly advanced machines that look surprisingly human. Machines that may soon reshape how we think about work. This is the age of advanced humanoid robots, and Chinese companies are making rapid progress to mass-produce these robots by the year 2025. It might sound like science fiction, but it is happening right now. Behind closed doors, engineers are assembling mechanical parts that mimic human joints, wiring electronic circuits that allow for complex motion control, and installing advanced software that gives these robots the ability to see, react, and learn. It is all very real, and it may herald one of the biggest changes in the global workforce in decades. One of the most prominent players in this field is a Shanghai-based robotics company that specializes in creating both humanoid and delivery robots. Their name, AGI-Bot, stands for a commitment to artificial general intelligence, but right now, their focus is on producing robots that can help in everyday tasks. In their manufacturing center, mechanical arms and conveyor belts bring components together. Skilled technicians secure actuators, sensors, and circuits in place. At the same time, robot assistants already on the assembly floor move materials around. This creates a symbiotic relationship where robots help build other robots, which increases production speed. Observing this factory is like stepping into a future some once imagined only in movies. Rows of partially assembled robots stand in place, and automated carts glide quietly past each workstation. At each station, everything from the actuators in the legs to the sensors in the robot's heads is thoroughly tested. If a robot is meant to lift boxes, the engineers check how much weight it can carry. If it is meant to walk on uneven ground, they test how well it can keep its balance. For every possible use, they have a specific series of tests to confirm the reliability and safety of the design. AGI Bot, like many other Chinese robotics firms, understands that testing hardware alone is not enough. Their robots also need to learn from real-world situations. That is where data collection comes in. To collect this data, the company sets up mock environments that resemble people's homes or factory floors. Each layout is slightly different in shape and lighting, just as real environments vary greatly from one building to another. Over time, this large collection of information helps the robots become smarter at navigating narrow hallways, avoiding obstacles, and grasping objects of different shapes and sizes. On top of physical data, they also gather synthetic data. This involves computers generating virtual scenarios, such as a robot delivering packages in a busy hallway or picking up different tools in a workshop. By combining real-world and synthetic data, they can cover a wider range of possible situations. Then, they refine the robot's software to handle these scenarios in the most efficient way. This process is repeated many times, creating a feedback loop. The robots get better, the data collection improves, and the entire production pipeline speeds up. When people picture a humanoid robot, they often imagine a machine with two legs, two arms, and a head. However, not all robots in these factories look that way. Some have wheels instead of legs. Others have specially designed arms that are more useful for heavy lifting. The idea is that each model of robot can be specialized for its intended environment. A wheeled model might be better at moving along smooth factory floors, while a two-legged model can climb steps or work in tight spaces. Because of this variety, the production lines are flexible. In one section of the factory, you might see the assembly of a two-legged robot that needs precise balance. Nearby, a different group might be working on a wheeled robot that can zip around delivering parts. Each group ensures that the robot's sensors, motors, and computing systems are customized for that specific task. This approach, combined with China's reputation for high-volume manufacturing, suggests that they may produce an astonishing number of robots in the coming years. AGI Bot is not alone in these efforts. Other robotics firms in China are also racing to produce advanced robots that can handle tasks once done only by humans. One example is a company informally referred to as Zhang, which began as an offshoot of an electric vehicle manufacturer. Founded in 2016 and based in Shenzhen, Zhang focuses on what they call intelligent bionics, they aim to make robots that move as smoothly as living creatures and can adapt to fast-changing environments. Early demonstrations of Zhang's humanoid robots drew skepticism from some observers, 
who thought the footage might be computer-generated imagery. However, follow-up videos and detailed demonstrations confirmed these are real machines that can walk, detect objects, and even carry out simple tasks. In one demo, the robot worked alongside human staff members in a factory. It picked up materials from a conveyor belt, placed them in a nearby station, and then passed tools to a co-worker. This type of close collaboration shows that such robots can potentially assist workers in repetitive or physically demanding duties. While robots do not tire in the same way humans do, they do need regular maintenance, charging, and software updates. Several factors are driving China's push into humanoid robotics. First, many large enterprises see the potential for robots to handle tasks that are repetitive or dangerous. This saves time and, in some cases, reduces workplace injuries. Second, Chinese tech giants have been investing heavily in artificial intelligence. As a result, many new AI software platforms have emerged, ready to be integrated into robotic systems. Third, manufacturing companies value efficiency. They often look for ways to produce more goods with fewer costs. Highly capable robots can speed up production lines and reduce human error. Moreover, some of these robotics companies have received funding from major firms such as BYD and Huawei. These corporations are known for their involvement in everything from consumer electronics to automobiles. Their backing lends credibility and financial strength to robotic startups that need expensive research and development. In turn, the startups gain access to robust supply chains and valuable partnerships. Together, they form an ecosystem that supports quicker breakthroughs and more rapid scaling of new technologies. China has set a clear aim to be at the forefront of global robotics by 2025. This date is not chosen at random. It aligns with various government initiatives and industrial strategies designed to modernize manufacturing. If things go as planned, factories could soon deploy fleets of humanoid robots that can assemble cars, package goods, or even fulfill orders for online shopping warehouses. Some experts believe that by 2030, we might witness fully automated car factories, with only a handful of human operators overseeing entire lines of robots. However, there are also challenges. Humanoid robots require advanced hardware, from strong yet lightweight materials for their arms and legs to sophisticated microchips for their control systems. Balancing on two legs is a complex task for any machine, and robots must also learn how to interpret changing conditions, such as when a person steps in front of them or when the lighting shifts. Companies are working around the clock to improve stability, sensor accuracy, and computational speed. They also face the issue of battery life, since humanoid robots consume a lot of energy when they walk or lift objects. Any major shift in technology can lead to questions about how it might impact human workers. Some people wonder if robots will replace jobs that are currently done by humans. Others see robots as helpers that will free people from the most physically demanding or monotonous tasks. If these robots become affordable and reliable enough, they could be rolled out in many industries, factories, logistics, hospitality, or even healthcare. The result might be a workforce that includes both humans and robots, each performing tasks for which they are best suited. Still, it remains uncertain exactly how quickly this change will come. Some factories may adopt robots immediately, while others might move more slowly. Factors such as cost, worker training, and public acceptance will influence how widespread these machines become. Even so, seeing multiple companies in China rapidly develop and test humanoid robots suggests that early adopters will not have to wait very long. For these businesses, the goal is straightforward to improve efficiency and stay competitive in the global market. The world may soon witness a future in which humanoid robots are nearly as common as smartphones or personal computers. While many details must still be worked out, the progress in China's robotics scene highlights how quickly technology can move from a concept to a real, functioning product. Factories full of humanoid robots assembling cars or packaging electronics might look like something out of a futuristic movie. Yet, in certain Chinese production facilities, this is already becoming an everyday reality. Such changes do not happen overnight, but the steady increase in robotic research, funding, and manufacturing capacity suggests that the momentum is real. As 2025 approaches, Chinese companies are scaling up their operations to meet their goals. 
On top of that, the combination of advanced data collection, synthetic testing environments, and major investors makes it likely that progress will speed up even more. Humans may still be in control, ensuring the robots are safe and well-maintained, but the robots themselves could manage a wide array of duties that once required human energy and time. It is too early to predict exactly how far this revolution will go or how rapidly robots will appear in everyday settings, but the groundwork is clearly being laid. The developments in China's robotics industry are a testament to the power of technology to transform entire sectors of the economy. Whether these humanoid robots are lifting boxes in a warehouse, assembling electronic devices, or even assisting in more delicate tasks, they represent a serious shift in how work might be done worldwide. With each new iteration and each new round of data-driven learning, the robots grow more capable, and the future, once distant, feels that much closer.